All right, guys, we got a 2016 Ford F-150, and we're going to do a uh, power balance on this vehicle and a uh, relative compression. And we're going to use the Think Car uh, the 689BT to do that. So I'm just going to go ahead and go over here to Auto Search. We're going to search the vehicle. I'm going to go ahead and turn the truck off. Do an automatic search. Hit OK. Key is on. Hit yes to that. This does have the 2.7 uh, EcoBoost engine. Twin turbo. And I'm going to do a, uh, let's see. That was common functions. Let's do special functions. And we're going to do powertrain. There we go. Okay, so first let's do a power balance. Start engine, then press OK. Okay. That is a nice responsive screen. Nice responsive tack at the bottom. I don't know. Okay, so pressing the individual cylinders doesn't do anything. Some skin tools have a uh, cylinder cutoff right at the top of each cylinder and you can actually disable that cylinder and uh, watch it uh, basically misfire. So, I mean, look how nice and smooth and responsive this is. As I rev the engine up, it's just instantaneous. Each time you see one of those little uh, drop-offs on whichever cylinder, that now when you're revving the engine up, that's not necessarily a misfire. But the way it measures a misfire is how long it takes for uh, one piston to go up and down compared to the next one. And it's measuring that time. And if one of them's slower than the others, it knows that that cylinder's not contributing to the combustion process. So that cylinder's going to be slow because it's going to basically be, it's not going to be contributing, so the other cylinders are going to be pulling it along. But anyway, it looks like this, this scanner does a great job of uh, doing a power balance on a Ford F-150. This is where, obviously, you're going to look for any kind of misfire problems. And you can see down at the lower right corner, you can record this and then play it back later. So you could hit record, drive down the road if you had a misfire at a particular speed um, or under a particular load. And then whenever you get back, you can go inside and you can play that back. And you can watch the uh, activity as you was driving. All right, so let's back out of this. Oh, also, the clear, what that does is see how messy the screen is right now with all the all the lines. If you want to clean that up and start fresh, you just hit clear, and then it starts a nice fresh uh, graphing screen. So, yeah, this is, a, this is about as smooth as it gets. I can't imagine it being any better than this. Nice and responsive and, and fast. So let's back out of this. And we are going to go now to relative compression. Relative compression is a very handy uh, tool to have. If you suspect a uh, compression issue, you know, a, a valve issue, rings, and you want to, you know, let's say you've got a misfire and you're wanting to rule out a compression problem, this is a quick and easy way to do that without having to actually pull spark plugs and screw in a compression gauge. So... Uh, as you can see, it tells you what to do. Uh, now, I typically don't apply the parking brake, and it doesn't uh, give me a problem with that. So at this point, I'm going to hit OK. And you can see anything that's not met, it, it'll flag it. So 
Uh, the ignition is on, so it's fine with that. The battery has sufficient charge, so it's fine with that. What it's not fine with is I'm not pushing the accelerator to the floor. Now, I'm going to do that. I'm not going to hit any buttons. As soon as it sees that the accelerator is to the floor, it's going to now tell me to start cranking the engine. I'm going to crank the engine for 10 seconds, and it's going to have a countdown. And that's what you want to see. You want to see zeros all the way down. Now you can see a slight difference. If that, if one or two of those cylinders had a one or a two percent, that's well within tolerance. Um, it's just comparing each cylinder to the to the other. And what that what it's actually doing is measuring the current draw that the starter takes on each cylinder's compression stroke. It knows where each cylinder's at. And it's measuring how much current it's taking the starter to compress the that cylinder. Hopefully that makes sense. And if one cylinder, let's say you've got a bent valve, and so we'll just we'll just say cylinder number one has a bent valve or rings that's not sealing. Well, that cylinder is not going to have near as much compression, so it's going to take a lot less current for the starter to compress the the air fuel mixture in cylinder number one. So that would flag that cylinder as having a difference uh, by percentage of all the other cylinders. And kind of that that's what th this is all about. Now, this isn't 100%, but as long as you don't hear a compression issue, and this is saying that you don't have a compression issue, you probably don't, but you may still want to, if you've weeded out everything else, you may still want to, to do a full-blown compression test by screwing in a compression gauge into each cylinder and doing a, a true, physical, uh, real compression test. But this actually does a pretty good job. Anyway, this is the uh, ThinkCar 689BT, and this is a 2016 Ford F-150. And I was just wanting to show this scanner uh, doing both these tests to show you that it, it does a really good job. This is a very impressive scanner uh, for the money. Also has lifetime updates, so that's going to be a hard scanner to beat, in my opinion. Uh, anyway, we're done with this video. Uh, if you guys want to see more on this scanner, uh, go ahead and subscribe because I'm, I plan on doing a lot more videos using this scan tool. Anyway, you guys take care.